When a woman is undergoing a major breast operation, there are two things that are keeping these women in the hospital, pain and nausea. And the, uh, and the combination of medication and uh, a perioperative analgesia that we're using has allowed our patient to have a lot less pain, a lot less nausea. The only reason our patients are nauseous nowadays is if their blocks are not working. And so that enables faster recovery and better, greater patient satisfaction as well as early discharge. So what we did, we did a retrospective analysis of all our mastectomies over the last 10 years, and then we grouped them based on the way that perioperative analgesia was delivered. The first group was conventional analgesia that was offered to our patients uh, prior to us implementing peripheral ner nerve catheters, and uh, that was done before like 2009. So some of these patients were on oral an opioid analgesics, conventional analgesic, uh, PCA systems, and so on and so forth. The second group of the patients were patients after we started implementing a uh, paravertebral catheter, uh, and, and the third group of patients when we added neurontin, gabapentin, on top of paravertebral catheter in the perioperative period. And what we, when we analyzed the data, we noticed not only drastic decrease in uh, narcotic usage, uh, which was almost a 50% decrease in opioid use, uh, you know, and subsequently decrease in, side, in opioid side effects. But also we've noticed a decrease in post-op uh, nausea. We dec noticed decreased in hospital stay. Our average length of stay decreased from 2.3 days to 1.6 days. What it translates into the patients who used to spend two nights in the hospital now spend one night in the hospital. And the way it works that they have a preoperative pervertebral catheter placed in, in preoperative area. They have their surgery under general anesthesia. We use laryngeal mask, airway, and uh, IV general anesthesia. We do not uh, use um, uh, inhalational anesthetic to decrease risk of nausea. Postoperatively, patients are, pressed, uh, are uh, placed on a uh, small dose of Valium around the clock, not as an anxiolytic but more as a muscle relaxant because postoperatively, as we have found out, patients frequently go into muscle spasms. So to treat these muscle spasm Valium, we found is a very good uh, agent. We usually post up day one when they wake up uh, and they feel great. We give them an option of going home with uh, catheters and uh, the catheter we use, it's an OnQ pump, it's a double lumen OnQ pump that, is a, that has container that, that runs on both sides. The pump rate uh, is regulated. Uh, it goes from one milliliters an hour to seven milliliters per hour per side. So the maximum you can run the pump is at 14 cc's an hour, which is way below safety threshold. So it's a safe infusion rates. Usually our patients do not need to uh, adjust the rate. However, that option is available to them. We usually have volume there to last for two, two and a half days. So when patients go home, they usually go home with a catheter. And when the pump runs out on post-op day two or three, uh, they pull them out themselves and they don't need to come back for this. And that also increased patient satisfaction and the care that, that, that is being delivered. And we haven't had a single patient to date who needed to come back to the hospital to have an OnQ device removed. It, it's convenient and it's maintenance free. This is what people like. Also, I think that people like the fact that it's not plastic, so they're not afraid it's going to fall, it's going to break. I think that part of that may be attributing to the success of the therapy that we're offering. In my hospital, since the implementation of peripheral nerve catheter program, we have done over 10,000 indwelling catheters, orthopedic and non orthopedic, and uh, we have seen one case of peripheral site infection uh, was in a morbidly obese diabetic patient. Uh, he, had an, uh, he had a tap catheter and he developed a superficial wound infection uh, that, that was tr treated with uh, antibiotics. Uh, we have not seen any other abscesses or any other infection. We have never seen any paravertebral infection. If you look at the literature, there, uh, there are several studies that looked at the incidence of uh, infection with peripheral nerve catheters, and th these incidences are in incredibly low. So we feel pretty confident that what we're offering to our patients is a safe and sound therapy.